In this video, I will show you how to print data in Microsoft Excel. So, if you need to set up your data for printing, first, you can go to Page Layout tab. And here, you can find all the settings about printing references. Starting from the margins, you have a default selection for the margins. We also have the orientation whether it is portrait or landscape. If you select either portrait or landscape, Excel will just customize the setting of your printing re references from vertical to horizontal. You also have here the size of the paper. And for the next icon, we have here the print area. When you say the print area, Excel will just focus on that area to be printed. For example, if I just need this area to be printed, highlight row number 2 up to row 26 from column B to column H, click print area, and click set print area. Okay? Now, in order to view the data that you want to print, the shortcut in Microsoft Excel is holding control button on your keyboard and pressing letter P to display the print output. All right. Now, going back to the spreadsheet, you can click the back button. More settings can be seen if you click this extension button for the page setup. Okay. Similar to what we can see in lower versions of Excel, this is the print reference. So you have here the page, the margins, the header and footer, and sheet reference. So we click cancel for that. More settings for printing by holding control and press letter P. You can also see some specific areas of printing over here. Before you click the print icon, you can set up the number of copies per document. You can select the printer that is actively connected. So your Excel, you have settings. If you want to print all active sheets, or you can print the entire workbook. Automatically, Excel will just print all the available workbooks, a worksheet rather, in your file. For the print selection, this is similar to what we have earlier for the print area. Or you can simply ignore the print area and let Excel automate the selection for you. At the bottom, you can set up pages. This is the exact sequence of how do you want to print the pages in your document. You can start from 1 to 5 if you have 5 pages in that document. Or you can start with 5 to 1, right? If you want page 5 to be printed first before page number 1. At the bottom, you have the collated or uncollated. Collated means it will print your document from page 1 to 5. If you have multiple copies, right? It will print your data from page 1 to 5 up to you have up until you finished all the copies uncollated means it will do the printing of uh, data per page batches so page 1 page 2 page 3 next you can change the orientation as well over here change the size of the paper and the margin as well. 
And lastly, you have here the scaling options. And I find it more uh, user-friendly using scaling instead of using print area. Scaling options, I can simply click on fit sheet on one page. Excel will just automate all existing fields to be printed on the same page. However, the downside of this, the font size must might be compromised because as we try to narrow down the areas for printing, font size turn to a small size as well. You can also fit all columns on one page or you can click also fit all rows on one page depending on what specific area do you want to print or what reference you want to use for printing. Also, you can click on custom scaling options. This is what we have earlier for the page setup. Now, if you are done with that, those settings, you just need to click the print button and then Excel will print the document that you created. And that's it for how to print your data in Microsoft Excel.